Yo, what's going on? Welcome to the desert. We are in Phoenix, Arizona for OT7 season two. Yes, sir. Day two. You heard him. That's destroying. I'm overtime day. We got an unbelievable matchup in bracket play right now. 24K mm. versus the Trillion Boys. Trilly, trilly. We got a lot on the line for a chance to go to the semifinals. D, how are we doing? Man, I'm doing amazing. I'm really excited for this matchup. It's going to be a good one. Y'all know Trillion Boys got a lot of hype. They always talk about it's Trilly, Trilly, Trilly that. Trilly this, Trilly whatever. Led by Josh Stupin. Them boys are undefeated today. They had a close game last game, but they came out on top. And 24K, we already know about them out of Florida, so I'm biased. Led by Colin Hurley, LSU commit. So it's going to be a shootout today, man. Both of these rosters are two of the most talented rosters here at OT7. Last year, 24K came in as the one seed for OT7 in Vegas. They look good right now. 24K, uh, excuse me, Trillion Boys without AJ Green. Yes, sir. They haven't really missed a beat, but you know who never misses a beat? Overtime Tom, who's down Tom. on 5Cam. Tom, what's going on, my guy? Talk to us. Appreciate it, Dan. Hey, I'm down. I think we're losing you, man. Oh, wait, you losing me? Can you hear me? We yeah, we can you. hear you. All right, bet. All uh, right, maybe Tom does lose. They beat us yesterday. <laughs> uh, they beat us in my battle. So right now, they're 2-0 and o versus us, man. But I think we got all the day good squad this weekend, and we're going to come out and give them a game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It sounds like they ready, man. Yes. I hate Stupin. How do you feel about him? I think he does some unorthodox things, man. But whatever he's got to do to run his program, that's his world. I think he's a cheater. All right, let's get this game going. <laughs> <laughs> that is unbiased commentary. You're about to hear the horn. It is time for pool uh, for bracket play here at OT7. And we have gate. an early completion. Out the gate. Trillion boys Out moving quickly. Gate. Donovan Aluk Bode, who's been one of the stars of OT7 season two here in Arizona. And Trillion boys off to the races. Pitt uniforms look like, uh, not Pitt, 24K's uniforms look like Pitt. They do. Yeah. Pitt Panthers. Yeah. I don't know UCLA boys vibes. Like. You think so? No, I don't know. So uh, the, a little bit, a little bit. Little the three-seed Trillion Boys come in 3-0. and oh. They beat Deuces, D1 Five Stars, and 24K currently on defense. But in the bracket, they barely, barely beat the AZ Dolphins to get here as Alec Bode running free again. It is, and no. he is Already. in for seven. Trilly. Trillion Boys, excuse me, that was <laughs> Elijah Lofton, and they're up to an early lead. It's Trilly already. It's already truly two plays seven points so the 24k guys came over to me before the game they said is the foam pit open so i hope that means they're going to score some touchdowns here foam pit is always open 24k went two and one in pool play they beat midwest boom and florida fire but lost to these trillion boys so they want redemption they had nine touchdowns in three games they beat team elevate in the first round of the bracket to get here four thousand Hey, Colin. So Colin Hurley is your boy, right, D? Yes, sir. Well, he got camo shorts on right now. Yeah, that, it looks like him, it. Man. Tom, like are, those, are those camo shorts on? Real tree camo. I think so. <laughs> okay, okay. Ask him for a pair. He said no. So Colin, <laughs> Colin Hurley, four-star QB from Jacksonville. He is committed to LSU. Go Tigers. Go and uh, he's a junior right now. He was with the Miami Immortals last year. I ain't gonna lie. That boy look like he be in the weight room. Oh, yeah. That's oh, my complete. God. That's well, Evan James. <laughs> now, I'm not going to criticize anyone's style, but someone has to show Colin how to put that helmet on. Because, he got too uh, much hair, bro. Because he's got some, uh, I, I, I can't, maybe Troy Palomalu? He got uh, too know. much hair, fam. <laughs> you got to snip his hair if you want to wear the helmet, right? <laughs> Tom, you had to get a haircut to just fit the headset on before this hey. game, right? Um, guys, I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna get his interview in a little bit. There's a guy wearing a clown mask down here, and it's like terrifying. And we'll we'll go to him in a little. Early bit. rolling left, easy, complete. Oh, down at the two. Cam Coleman. Oh, he's that spot is not it, rough. Inside the five, it'll be first and goal for 24K. Cam Coleman, the four star with the offers to Bama, UF, Colorado, 6'3", 175, and he was eating yesterday in pool play. Hurley drops back, looking over the middle. Oh, oh my dropped. God. Drop. Dalen Ponder had it. Grip boost. All right, D, if I'm Colin Hurley, I'm going back to Dalen Ponder here. Are you? Yeah, you not? 
Nah. <laughs> you, you punishing him for it? Yeah, you can't drop the money like that, fam. Here, here. You don't get second chances in life. <laughs> so, a little bit on the scoring here, OT7. If you score, it's seven points. If you stop him, it's two points. If you get a pick, it's three. Touchdown, 24K. Cam Coleman for seven. We have a new ball game. Man, if he wasn't open, Evan James was streaking down the sideline, open as well. Not a ton Very of defense open. there from Trillion Boys. We have a running clock here at OT7, except we have an only bracket play in the final minute. Clock stops on out of bounds, draw, uh, incompletions. We'll get to that later. It's Micah Alejado, mm, complete, pretty ball, pretty ball. Good hey, grab. D, there's something about lefty quarterbacks. Yeah, the ball just spins different, man. It just, I don't know, it's just hard to catch, too. It just don't look natural as well. Fellas, I'm going to go grab Cam Coleman. He was just rated the number one player at OT7 yesterday by on three recruits. Oh, wow. Hey, yo, Cam. Easy work. Yes, sir. I saw you were just rated the number one player at OT7 this weekend. What happened? You were rated the number one player here. Yes, sir. I'll give all glory to God. Check you working. You guys going to get this win? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Who's guarding you? Are they trash? Who's guarding you? Uh, I think his name is Bakwe. <laughs> he's he's pretty good press, but I think he's playing off a little more. I don't really know, just execute. You and Colin kind of got like the best duo uh, duo out here. Yeah, we're building the chemistry. Yeah. yeah. Right, man, keep going off. Appreciate you. Boy, sound like he's tired. Someone, I just kept asking him questions. He couldn't breathe. <laughs> Someone get an oxygen tank <laughs> for Pass Cam out. Coleman. <laughs> I'm six three, one seventy five, four star. I was pretty surprised they, they rated him number one over, over Jeremiah. Mm. Jeremiah looked great. You know who else looked great in pool play? Donovan Alubode for Trillion Boys, who we saw earlier, number eight. He looked great, too. So we got some elite wide receiver talent here on the field. Alubode. So Micah Alejado, three-star lefty. He's looked good so far, G. I've been impressed with him. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Trillion Boys been looking good all around. We gonna see if they can come out with the W though. It's a close call last time versus AZ Dolphins. Wish I could have watched the game, but we was on field one. They were on field two, but man, hopefully it's not the same story today. And we got a couple guys who all played together on Trillion Boys. They all go to Bishop Gorman, Alejado, Lofton, who had the touchdown before the four-star tight end. Right. Audrick Harris, three-star wideout. Offsides. They have offsides. Move it up five yards. That blitz was coming, too. Do they oh, waste yeah. the blitz now? I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to have Tom find out. Each team gets two blitzes, two rushes. He's got to use them wisely. You want me to find out? I'm going to ask the ref right now. What do you want me to ask? Uh, uh, ask him if that was a wasted blitz. So is that a wasted blitz? Oh, he's blowing my ear. What is going on? I don't think they know either. Maybe, maybe your question led them to spark a conversation. Yeah. Because he blitz. But is that a wasted blitz? That is a wasted blitz. The blitz Ooh. counts, but it does not give him automatic first down. It's five yards replayed it down. Ooh. What down is it? I appreciate you knowing what down is it right now. Third down. Third, Third down. down. Let's get hey. it. Hey, wow, this guy knew the rules. Yeah. He's love a ref. Are you love ref it, for it. a reason? You know, the ref's not having mics. We have we got to mic him up. Wait, I'm going to ask this guy. We have Tom. What are you about to do right here? I don't know. I'm probably hopefully the quarterback throw it to me so I can score. He don't sound confident. <laughs> he don't sound confident. He had three touchdowns yesterday on field one, so I, I think he's got it. That was four-star Xavier Jordan, who Tom had to get the quick little sound bite from. 24K showing blitz again. Oh, here comes the blitz. Throws it up. Alejado. Incomplete. Yeah, no, no flag. No, no flag. flag. No flag. Tack on two points for 24K, and they will go up 9-7. D, I'm wondering if they knew that that first blitz counted, because now they have no blitzes left. I'm sure they communicated it to them. The coach probably knows, but I, I don't know. So with 15 minutes left, 24K has no blitzes left? They got left. no more, yeah. I think uh, Josh Stupin, head coach of the Trilling Boys, is just confirming that. He's very passionate, man. To say the least. Very passionate about the game. To say the least. You got to get an interview with Stupin, Tom. Colin Hurley <laughs> back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. You think he knows I called him a cheater? Going deep. Get in the ring with him. 
<laughs> Too long for Coleman. Yo, that could be my boxing opponent. <laughs> Low key. Where'd you do it? Um, where's he at? On the sidelines, red shorts, black hoodie. Yeah, I'd mess him up. Okay, I'm gonna tell him you said that. Well. Okay. You from Florida? Soft. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I agree. Something about those Florida boys. I don't know. Where are you from? Tom? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, Tom. Where are you from? Where are you from, Tom? from? New York. New York? Yeah, yeah. What part of New York? Ah, uh, come on. Complete. <laughs> what part? <laughs> 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 I grew up in the suburbs. That boy from in the Kobe. woods. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Get up in this See twenty four thousand driving a bar right now. Colin Hurley looking in command. Got man in motion. Are That's Cam coming? Coleman over the middle. Ah. Complete. That'll be a blitz, but tack on two points for Trillion Boys, and we have a 9-9 game. Mm. It's a hot ball game. Quarterfinals here at OT7, season two. I thought the this game was gonna be a shootout, man, but it's not looking like it. Defense has held up strong yeah. so far on the second drives. The winner of this game gets to play Tucson Turf in the semifinals. I'm excited for whoever wins to face them. I'm gonna no, join Stupin's huddle on the next player. Oh, uh, yeah, you should, Good you luck. should. <laughs> He's gonna throw gonna swing at you. At you. Let's see what they got dialed up here. Get in there, Tom. Yeah, Elijah, get off and tighten your split. Hey, the corner, the the That's fine. Like, Run the post see. hard. Tom, say something to him. Come back. You got to post. post. No post. We want to hit here, the Z. <laughs> so Z or the X here, who are we hitting? Oh, we're just hitting the hitch. Here we go. So that's, going? They're talking about Elijah Lofton, the tight end, the four-star tight end, teammate of Alejado. Goes back, and there he is. Mm. Elijah Kenny Lofton. Mm. Mm. You know what's really funny is Coach was whistle, uh, whispering his plays as if everyone was listening. <laughs> <laughs> only, only Tom will get in the interview and immediately trash I the know, guy right? he interviewed. I know, right? <laughs> Small calves. Wait, Tom, Small Tom calves. Savage. How much you pay for those? <laughs> you got to size up your next opponent, bro. <laughs> Yo, Elijah Lofton, who caught that, Teammate of Alejado Bishop Gorman, 6'2, 220. And, he, and, and he's running free like that. There's a reason he's got offers to Miami, Texas, and Colorado. Mm. Hey, Colorado has offered everyone, huh? They're trying to get the whole gang out there. Pick. Alejado picked off. Wow. Pick. 24K. Pick. Taking the ball back, Cameron Pick. Powell. Cameron Powell, the three star, leading the 24K defense into the pit and they will go up. Ain't no way somebody ain't laying on somebody else over there. Let's take another look. That is a tough angle he is dealing with, and he pulled it down with no bobble. Soft That's hands. Straight hands. Soft hands. Over the shoulder pick. Man, you see hands like that, he's gotta be playing the other way. We yeah, down here he with him right to. now. Got a little pick right there? Yes, sir. What happened? Oh, oh my god. Oh, here we go. Okay. 20, oh, now you got a touchdown. Okay. There you go. Trey, go back to the go. pit. Pit not the palace. <laughs> <laughs> what a turn of events, man. And just like that. And are they going for the swing? They are going for the swing. So 19-9, to the nine, they got three points on the INT. That made it 12-9. to nine. Tack on seven points for the touchdown, 19-9. And they're going for the one-point gamble. One play from the 10-yard line. If they get it... Guys, this is such a bad decision. If they get it, it'll be 20-9. to nine. I think it's if, a good decision. If, if they don't get it... If they don't get it, it'll be 18 to 9. But won't that ma Does uh, Chile still have their money drive? Yeah, you got to be confident. You get it, you up 11. Yeah, but if you don't... No, nah, they're going to get it. Wait, hold on. No, nah, they're going to get it. They're going to get it. They're going to get it. Hurley drops back, rolls right. Now looking left, throws it over. Oh, the second guy says they're going to get it. <laughs> it's on It's the grass, bro. The grass made him slip. I can't control that. <laughs> so the score is now 18 to 9, they 24 K, the six seed over three seed. Trillion boys were under 10 minutes left. Trillion boys got to get it going, D. Oh, we got a money drive here. Is it a money drive? They we got a money, money drive. Let's see what Coach Johnny Manziel. Oh no, we can't. 
Johnny Manziel. So each team gets one money drive a game. If you score on your money drive, it's 10 points. Sorry about the wind in the microphone. If you don't score on the money drive, four points to the defense. If you get picked off, six points to the defense. So big possession here for Trillion Boys. I'm literally turning my back. Yeah, I've been doing that the whole to, time. To, to, to hide from the wind. So I'm Shield looking over my wind. shoulder to call this. You're welcome. Alejandro drops back. The dedication, man. Yeah, they don't wow. make him like me anymore. Jeez. Only you're like, <laughs> minutes your relationships. Wow, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, I told you that in confidence. <laughs> Big third down coming up. 18 9. This might be Tom's last game he does on a broadcast. I might kill him after this game. <laughs> Big third down. Hey, guys, we just had 24K's coach come over here and whisper to the ref that uh, some of the players on Chilean boys don't have their chin straps buckled, and he wants to see a penalty. I kind of hate that. Yep. <laughs> That's Man, petty. Any competitive advantage. Alejandro running right, using one of the runs. He's Ooh. got room. And a new set of downs. Alejandro. <laughs> Ale Alejandro. First and goal, and D is speaking Spanish on the broadcast. <laughs> First it was the syllables, now now Spanish. Yeah, yeah, if you didn't hear on the SFE game, you got to you gotta tap into that one. I dropped the eight-syllable word, fam. Did you? I think you stopped at seven. Was it seven? I looked eight up, but I ain't. Yeah, you're right. I, I did stop at seven. I'm not going to say the word because you got to go listen to it, but I think it was <laughs> only seven syllables. Oh, man. It's the first and last seven-syllable word I've ever used in my life. I can't wait for the YouTube headline of that game. Destroying. Destroying. Use a seven-syllable word. <laughs> Competes in spelling bee. <laughs> Over time, Sam licking his chops thinking of the headline <laughs> after that. <laughs> Micah Alejado trying to punch it in for 10. We're Drops the back. He's going to be in right. math class. <laughs> Incomplete. Second and goal. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna put, some, put some, some glasses on D. <laughs> Professor D. Oh, that's that SFE upset. Man, this might be an upset coming, too. Coach oh, is barking at his parents. Actually, D, was that the Tucson Turf game you did that? Yes. Yeah, it that was. That was the Tucson Turf, right. I had no spoilers on what happened in that game, but it was not the SFE game. Micah Alejado leading the Trillion Boys offense. Second and goal. This is the money drive, so if they score... They will take the lead and go up 19 to 18. But first, big money. The work to be done. Dropping back, looking over the middle. Tut oh no! Grant boost. You gotta go interview that man. He dropped that thing right in front of the camera. He seen the camera got nervous. You want me to interview the guy who dropped the ball? <laughs> hey, let's see what coach has dialed up here. Xavier Jordan, the sure-handed wide receiver, can't come up with that one. Sure-handed wide. Well, I don't know about that one. Sure-handed wide receiver. Okay, you got drop. I mean, we've seen him ball out all weekend. He dropped one that was a bad drop, but they gotta punch it in right now. So you're not going back to him right here? Nope. They're not. Nope. Where are they going to, Tom? Uh, these two guys on the outside, to yeah. the left. That was the same guy earlier. Who was like, man, hopefully they throw me the ball. He wasn't confident. That's why. Yep. Touchdown, Mike Matthews. Hey, That's how you catch. He went right up to coach before that play and said, throw me the ball. Trillion boys, 19, 24K, 18, and with six minutes left and a trip to the semis on the line, Trillion boys take command. Sir. Well, they, they completed their money drive, huh? Successfully. Trillion boys have been successful on their money drive so far. Uh, earlier, <laughs> on their money drive, they just went deep against the D1 five-stars first play touchdown. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of wish they did that right now, but you know, nah, I don't know. Twenty-four K defense is a little, you know, built a little different. Colin Hurley back to work for twenty-four K. Dropping back, throwing right. He's, He's got his man wow. deep. Touchdown. Twenty-four K magic. <laughs> Michael Key, the three-star from Orlando. Going around the world, Epcot. You're going for two, <laughs> fellas. Or they're going for the, the one-point gamble. Ah, they love that damn gamble, huh? Well, it makes sense now, right? Because they're only up six. Oh, now they're up. They're up six. I, I believe the score... They're the type to gamble and lose their money. 25, 19, 24K. If they get it here on the one-point gamble, tack on one. If they do not, 
They'll go back down to 24. Hurley snaps. Wait, what the? Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. What yeah. just yes. yeah. happened? <laughs> <laughs> that is one of the plays of the day. On the snap, the whole team started doing push-ups. Ken Coleman said, man, I had this dance. Guys, <laughs> coach, coach looked at me and just winked right before the play. He goes, Tom, watch this. Wait. <laughs> don't be surprised if you see that play on Sports Center this morning. And don't look Can't now. Don't look now. But Trillion Boys are back to work. That hey, we're, was We're crazy. down here with Colin Hurley, fellas. I, I got to ask you, what was that play? Which one? Just now with the push-up. That's just our guy making a play on that. No, we got we got Cam out there. He's gonna he's gonna go get that fade ball every time. Is that he just mossed like two guys? That's what he does. Easy ball for you? Yeah, he, very easy. He hey, does all the work. What type of shorts he wears? I love, it, I love it. Oh yeah, what are up with these shorts? Can I get a pair. I mean, if you want some, I can try to get you some. Let's go! <laughs> this is my QB one. <laughs> right, there you go, fellas. Alejandro back over the middle. They to driving up field right now. They driving up the field right now. We got a game here, 26-19. Trillion boys trying to tie the score up. Three minutes to go, 320. So Trillion boys has already used their money drive. 24K still has that, though, in their back pocket. At what point do you use it? Oh, my God. Defensive flat, PI, flat, flat. it doesn't matter. No, OPI. Are they saying oh. OPI or DPI? Holding on the defense. Holding. He's saying holding. He didn't holding point on with. Holding on the defense. Touchdown, Mike Man. Matthews. Five star. Man. Tie ball game. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. As soon as the ref signaled that, he's like, what? Should 24K just run that same play? Low key. Yeah, maybe, maybe they should start doing uh, squats or burpees or, I mean, you can't do the push ups <laughs> again. <laughs> You do the Kansas City Chiefs ring around the rosy, maybe? <laughs> All right, D, who are you going to here? First play, Colin Hurley. Who's he throwing oh, to? Man. I go Coleman. You got to go Coleman. Can't go wrong with him. Michael Key had the last catch. They got to start using some clock. I'm not going to lie to you. They got to bleed the clock this drive. That's completed to Dale and Ponder. Tie ball game, two minutes left. You're running clock until the one minute mark, and then the clock will stop on incompletions, out of bounds. Colin Hurley is leading the boys down the field right now for 24K. You know, I, I, I kind of would have thought 24K would use their money drive because a touchdown here would put the game out of reach. That's complete, and I believe they'll get a new set of downs. That's Trey Brown, the four star with. Tennessee, Florida, FSU offers. Man. We got third down here, fellas. Oh, we got third, third down. Third down. <laughs> <laughs> they called him just short of the 25. But, you know, D, if they use their money drive here and they score, that would pretty much be the game. It'd because be ball game. Hey, hey guys, Coach called this play day. bullshit. He just goes, check, check, check. Bullshit, bullshit, right. bullshit. Run the BS play. Run the BS play. Blitz and here coming. comes the play. Whoa, whoa. Hocus Pocus in the first down for 24K. Oh, shit. Easily the most creative offensive coach. I like they coach a lot, man. He's really good. Is that Chris Mitchell? Chris Mitchell yep. running the party and bullshit play oh, for 24K. Oh, we got stupid in the mix. Oh, stupid that. Stupid's angry. General, I want the field general. I need to talk to a field general. I want the field general. That's their third run. That's their third run. I got it. 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 No, it was backwards. No, backwards pass. It was backwards. Oh, it, it was backwards. Oh, it counts as a run. Exactly. exactly. That was their third one. Down. You only get two. Our fault. Our fault. Okay. I'm not. You ran. I got confused. Guys, this is like. His <laughs> team like ran dance. the ball. His team ran the ball <laughs> twice. What's, All the, right. what's the commotion about down there, Tom? <laughs> Stupin thought they ran the ball three times. Turns out 24K has not ran the ball once. <laughs> Classic mix-up. Yeah. 26 all. We are under the one-minute mark. Colin Hurley trying to put 24K in the semifinals. Looking Very left, looking right. Going deep. Hit. Oh, oh, my goodness. God. Oh, my Trillion God. Trillion boys. Stacy Bay. Puts the 
Trillion boys ahead up three, and they will get the ball oh back with 45 God. seconds. And what a play. Oh, my God. Only at OT7, baby. And you got, you got to put that up top. Let's take another look. You got to let your receiver make a play. Mm. See, Coach Mitchell went up to the ref afterwards, and he was begging for him to call a sack. You think that was a sack, right? Not a pick? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Pun it would have saved him. Punish us, uh, punish us in a different way, please. Yeah, it was really funny, actually. <laughs> Man, so what does Trillion Boys do here? I mean, Trillion Boys probably runs one or two plays, and that'll be just about it. 24K has no timeouts left. Alejado uses the second run for Trillion Boys. Well, I ain't gonna lie, wait. I've seen him run. Wait, can a they lot. run? Wait. I've seen Tom, him run Tom, a lot. find out. Isn't that the third run for Guys, Trillion? I can't keep track of these runs anymore. <laughs> all that all that run commotion from the last drive has me. Yeah, no, that, I ain't gonna lie, that looked like their third run for me. Because he's been running a lot. But 24K oh, ain't awake. Oh, Get an easy first, yeah? Okay, okay. There's some way to do it. Donovan. Wait, guys, go Donovan. Oh, yeah, yeah, Donovan there. Audrey, Elijah, out. I need a field general. I need a field general. <laughs> that was, that, that, that's, we, we, we need to make a meme out of that. We need to make a meme out of that. Keep your eye here on Donovan Alubode, number seven. He is in the slot at the bottom of your screen. He's been a beast all day. You heard him say, look for Donovan. He's got a 5'9 DB on him, and Donovan is uh, 6'2", 175. So let's let's keep our eyes on number seven. Think? Probably going pretty conservative, though. Ooh, I don't understand that. Please. I don't understand that. They were just trying to get the first down. But it Five ain't stops work out. on the incompletion. I mean, all you had to do was really throw, just complete it. Yeah. And, uh, and the dump off wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. 24K, still not out of it. It's like really stressful down here, They're really intense. Trillion boys need a first down to put this game on ice. Alejado drops back. Looks right. Ooh. Oh, dropped by Elijah Ooh. Lofton. Ooh. We have a one-point game, 29-28. Oh, and with 30 seconds left, and Colin Hurley with the football, 24K will look to make noise and punch their ticket to the semifinals. Throw the deep ball. Throw the deep ball. Throw the deep ball, man. Why don't they just do their money drive? I mean, it makes no, it, either way. I, I, I guess the score. Yeah, it don't no. matter. Hurley drops back, rolls Go left. Get out of bounds. Completed, gets out of bounds. Nah, he's still in, he's still in, he's still in. Are they saying? Yeah. Clock keeps running, because he didn't get out of bounds there. What's Wait. the beep, 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 about? Clock, Clock is running. Out. We are under 30 seconds. 24K rolls left. Completed again. Wow. Now Gets he got out of bounds. Same play. That feels Dale like a punchy. They're going up top, right? To our big man over here. They have to, but that, that's back-to-back -back completions to Dale and Ponder. If they keep doing that, get down to the 10, they'll they'll be there by you know about 15 seconds left. So 24K with no timeouts and one run remaining. Let's see what they can do. It's a nail biter, man. We have first down from around the 20, Hurley drops back. Bounds, complete to Cam Coleman. Yep. Get out of bounds. And Colin Hurley with 18 seconds left from the 11 yard line is gonna look to put 24K in the end zone. What do you they, think, T? I think they got it in them, man. They've been doing good, good so far. Offense been rolling. They ain't really been stopped too many times. They flipped their receivers on this play. They got a man out to the right now. Keep your, keep your eye on Cam Coleman at the bottom of your yeah. screen. Nice. He's been a dog all day. Nice Hurley's nice. looking yep. for him. Goes up nice top. Nice. Touchdown! Yeah. Oh, oh yes. there's a bubble. There's no, a bubble. I, no oh. I saw it. Ball I saw came it. out. 
I saw it. D and I saw it. Ball came out. D and I had eyes on it the whole time. Incomplete. Incomplete. Ball came out. It did not survive he, he the ground. The air, Mr. Yeah. Official, what happened? He dropped the ball. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. He said, "Genius." Damn. As much of a catch as I looked, we'll take a look. You can see the bobble. Wow. Or did it? You saw the bobble, but did it hit the ground? Uh, from over here, he it looked like a catch. Oh uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We that was sick. We in the ref jerseys for a reason, y'all boys. <laughs> Second, third down here. They did not get the first down before. Third down, and they smartly used one of their runs, but they have no timeouts. Ooh, Clock sugar. is running from Nine, inside the eight, five. Seven, seven seconds left. Six, Hurley drops five. back, throws it up. Cam Cole, oh, touchdown! Oh, 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 wait a minute. False start, false start. They call a false start on 24K. Like, oh, oh boy, yeah. Trillian Boy is paying him. Hey, offense here. Get him out. Trillian Boy. Four seconds red. left on the clock. We need one more Moss, all right? We need one more? Oh, sorry, Tom. Cam's going to give us one more Moss, all right? He's about. <laughs> I love this. Four seconds left on the one yard line. Most likely the last play of the game. They're going double. Here we go. Clock's running. Hurley drops back. Looks over the middle. Touchdown! 24K! Beat the traffic, really. Semi finals! Beat the traffic, really. It ain't looking true today. The 16 24K knocks off the trillion boys. And what a game that was. Did you see the pass run? By, by Stupin? Run trillion the boys clock. coach Jack Stupin has lost his mind on the refs. Run the clock! Damn, they're just mocking him now. They 24K, them boys. 24K going, what, what with, the, going, on? going huh? with the key and peel three big pumps big to the bench. Uh huh. <laughs> Man, gotta go in there. Oh, I'm a little bit. I'm not. Why? I don't know. I think I got a little greedy. You won the game. I know, but I, on that pick, uh, we were we were losing a little bit. QB one throwing me downs all day. Did you actually drop that one in the corner? We weren't oh, sure. Had it in my left hand. You, it had in my left hand. Yeah. You can watch it. We play everything. Yeah. And you guys advance now. Who are you guys gonna be playing? Uh, the, oh, did he catch it? Do we know if he caught it? Yes, I had it in my left hand. Like, it was on my shoulder in my left hand. I caught it. Tell him we saw the replay. It was a drop. <laughs> it's all right, man. D showing says you dropped it. D oh, we seen the replay, no. fam. Where he at, bro? Up in the booth. He's over there. No way, bro. <laughs> He's a hater. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, sometimes. Just. Do you think he could guard you? So Why he always set me up, man? All right, we're heading to the semis, right? All right, boys. Appreciate you. Thank Great game. You, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Cam Coleman, Colin Hurley. I freaking hate you, Tom. <laughs> that was a crazy game. The walk-off <laughs> touchdown by Evan James from Orlando, Florida, sends the six seed 24K into the semifinals, knocking off the three seed Trillion Boys. It is madness here at OT7 Man. Arizona D. Oh, yeah. Where's OT7, your heart rate at right baby. now? It's, it's spiking right now. It's hitting. Dump it through my chest, man. Hey, if you just watch that game, I don't even need to tell you to keep watching the rest. All the action here in Phoenix, Arizona. OT7 Season 2 for Overtime Tom for Destroying. I'm your man, Overtime Day. Stick with us. We More to come. Peace. Overtime Tom here for a short huddle. In football, great teams play as a unit. A single player can impact the entire team because a team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Yo, what is going on? We are in Phoenix, Arizona in the sunny, windy desert for OT7 season two. It is the semifinals round. We have Tucson Turf versus 24K for Whoa. a chance to go to the championship of OT7 West Division. I could not be more excited for this one. Alongside my brother destroying, yes, I'm sir. overtime day. Pumped to have you guys. How are yes, we doing, sir, dude? Man, I'm excited, man. Y'all see that trophy, man? It's looking beautiful. OT7 West Phoenix, beautiful day.
beautiful tournament, a lot of competition, but it all comes down to this. D, let me, wait, can I ask you? How do we get on? here? Listen, man, I'm going to tell, tell me, you tell right me, now. Tell me, tell me. Check me out. 24K beat Elevate 25 to 18, and they beat the Trillion Boys 35 29 in a nail biter that came down to the last second. Crazy game. Tucson Turf beat Blaze 34 18 in DEF Con, Texas 25 19. It's been a walk in the park for them. They've been undefeated, and they look to keep that going today. Winner goes to the championship. Let's throw it down in time. What you got for us, man? Hey, I appreciate it, D. I'm down here. I'm down here with Coach 24K, Coach Mitchell. How we feeling? In the, Coach D, now you're in the semis. How we feeling? Man, we feel good. Feel good. Had a really good game against Trillion last time. Uh, forced us to execute some things late, which is a game situation that we don't, you know, we don't practice, so we haven't been able to kind of go through. So naturally, we had to go through it. We executed, which was great. So coming out here now against Tucson Turf, we know what they do. They do a lot of good things. Um, we've never saw them before on the circuit in terms of playing against each other. We've seen, seen them do a lot of damage, though, so it'll be fun. I love it. Coach, semifinals at the start. Let's get it going. Back to you guys. Appreciate it. Did they say Coach D? Am I going to <laughs> You hear the horn? Thank you, Tom. It is time for the semifinals. Tucson Turf, 24K. Let's get it going. Here we go. Tucson Turf with the ball first, and we're underway. Who y'all boys got your money on, man? I want to hear it. 24K. 24,000. What about you, Tom? Fellas, I had a lot of great questions prepared for Coach, and he just talked my ear off, though, off the first one. <laughs> really killed me. Oh, so, so who are you going with? <laughs> who am I going with? I'm, I've told everyone during the break I'm a 24K fan now. After watching Colin, watching the squad, mm. I'm a 24K fan. Let's get it. D, who do you have? I ain't going to lie. I'm rooting for him, too, man. I'm rooting for it, too. But it's going to be a tough one because Tucson Turf, they're winners, bro. This is a winning program right here, so I don't know. I, I do like that Tucson Turf is repping Arizona. Yeah, now nah, Tucson Turf won Battle Miami this year, too. So they've been on a roll of winning tournaments, man. They ain't, they've been to the finals before and dubbed up, so it ain't nothing to do it again. Jackson Knutson has led this Tucson Turf team to the two seed here at OT7 West Division. As D mentioned, they won at Battle Miami. He's got two completions off the top here. Jackson is a 2025 quarterback from Chandler, Arizona. He's looked good so far, D, in this tournament. Yeah, nah, he, he's looked really good, man. He's looked really good. Both teams have, man. It's tough. Jackson drops back. Ooh. That's completed to Kimon Jackson, who picks up a second catch early so far. So to get here, 24K, first they beat Elevate 25-18, as you mentioned, D, and then we just watched that Trillion Boys game man. with the walk-off touchdown. A what a game. Unbelievable. Evan James, number three. Keep your eye on him. He had the walk-off touchdown to knock off Trillion Boys in one of the crazier games you will ever see. And here we are in the semis. Oh, nuts and drops back. Oh, look little easy. Hard. Yo, somebody get ran over over there. They're making it look easy. So keep your eye on that man right there. Number one, Desmond Roebuck. He has been a beast this whole tournament. He dominated in pool play. He had two touchdowns, two different games. He was a big factor against DEFCON Texas as well as EPS Blaze. He has been their go-to guy. He doesn't have any stars, but he has offers from UNLV in Arizona. If you watch him, you can quickly understand why. I ain't gonna lie, them jerseys kind of confusing. It looked like a seven from here, but it, it's it definitely does. number one. Back to him, back to him. They're feeding him. Hey, how many of these games you gotta do before you can give out a star? Uh, Well, you know, I give out the stars, D and I do. So uh, <laughs> if you want a star, you got to come up to the booth yeah. and prove your worth to D and I. Yes, that's sir. fair. That's fair. But you, I mean, it's got to be like, how does that man not have a star? That's crazy. He forgot to pay someone. <laughs> Five nine one sixty. Maybe it's the lack of intimidation factor. Mm. He intimidated me. <laughs> Knutson rolls to the left. Drops back, looks over the middle, and on cue, Desmond yes. Roebuck puts sir. Tucson Turf up early. 7 nothing. Yes, sir. It was all him, that drive, huh? They made that look easy. Literally all him, all drive. So here's how the scoring works at OT7. You score a touchdown, you get seven points. Not six, but seven. Seven? And then we have what's called the one-point gamble. D, tell me about the one-point one point gamble. One-point gamble, listen, man. You could either pick to go for one point, and if you get it, you get eight. If you don't get it, you go back down to six. So you're really gambling that extra point right there. And that's from the 10-yard line. So, you know, you got to no, no, you you no. be careful when you do that. It's a the gamble for a reason, man. If the defense stops the offense, they get two points. And D, how many points on a pick? Three. That's Mr. Rulebook destroying himself that's right my, there. That's actually my middle name. Right there. Mr. Rulebook. Rulebook. Colin Hurley takes over for 24K, the four-star QB, LSU commit. 
I'll say it once, I'll say it again. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. And he's been impressive. That's your guy, right, D? That's my dog, man. That's my dog. I was going to say, I think he might be the most impressive quarterback here this weekend. He's been doing his thing. He has been doing his thing. He has an arm on him. It's crazy. Early. He also told me he would give me a pair of shorts. Did he? And he took a sack. Why you don't got him on? Uh, Is he cap? Uh, we're not the same size. <laughs> He's six foot, 213. <laughs> I mean, this dude is jacked. Yeah, man, he's swole. He looked like he'd been in the weight room a lot. Well, that was the thing. I see him out here, and obviously there's not a ton of running in seven on seven. He can run a little bit, but I'm curious if when he's got pads on. Oh, bro, he's like, putting his shoulder down. Yeah. He's leaning his shoulder. He's not going to be a sliding quarterback. Here's the blitz. Got him. Got him. Turnover on third down. You only get three downs mm -hmm. here, OT7. And Tucson turf, the two seed, jumps out to a 9 nothing lead. Mm. Yeah. Too early to say uh, Tucson Turf winning this game? Nah, 24K. 24K, I'm, I'm, I'm live betting them. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I didn't get in trouble what's, for that what's one. What's the line? Tucson. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. <laughs> don't, 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 don't cover the hole. Uh, just because I buried myself. <laughs> Jackson Knutson back to work here. Drops back. Looks like deep shot. No. Just Desmond Roebuck. He only has one. Everybody else could just go off to the sideline and chill. Just let that man run his routes. He's the only receiver performer right now. So they haven't used it here, but we have, and if you've been watching all these games so far this weekend on the OT7 West Divisional, you've seen the money drive. But if you're just tuning in for the first time, this isn't the money drive here, but D, can you explain what the money drive is? So on a money drive, if you throw up the Johnny Manziel hands before your drive starts and you're on offense, your score is then worth 10 points instead of seven. But the caveat, if you turn the ball over, it's double points for the defense. Four. Four points for them. Yep. And if you throw a pick, it's double points for the pick. Mm -hmm. Six points on that. So you really want to use your uh, money ball wisely, your money drive. Each team only gets one. We've seen teams use it early. We've seen teams use it late. I, I feel like teams don't really know quite how to use it yeah, yet no, when the best yeah. time is for it. But, you know, t t 24K hasn't used it at all. So interesting strategies by different teams. And here comes the blitz. Got him. Got him. So each team gets two blitzes, two rushes. We've seen some early ones so far. Interesting not using it on a third down. I feel like that would be the time to use it. But, yeah, I know. Uh, to each their own. Hey, man, maybe there's some strategy to the coaching. Who knows? Hey, Tom, if you were a coach, when would you use it? Because I, know, I everything I've seen from these coaches, there's not a ton of strategy going on. <laughs> hey, you used to be a high school football coach. I was. I was a high school no football way. coach. Indeed, I was. Yeah. Now y'all lost every game, too. Now nah, I'm a very good offensive coordinator. Go deep. <laughs> Knudsen, who else? Desmond Roebuck. And Ooh, that's a first down. Else. That boy is open, open. Wait, Tom, you were an OC? I was. You were no, no way. Which I always forget that because you were a DB Ain't in high no school. Ain't no way. You played I got DB a lot of trick too? Plays. I got a lot of trick plays up my sleeve. Ain't no way. Tom, Tom, I can attest to it because I did go to high school with Tom. He... I thought ten Tom was a tennis player. So. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. I like getting uh, hit in the face. Uh, let, let's, uh, <laughs> you see the look there. Uh, Jackson Knudsen, you're not you if you're hungry. Little Snickers bar falling to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> He put it back in his uh, he hand put it, warmer. Yeah, it, let's hope that's yeah, his hand warmer. A, yeah, wow, he is awesome. He got a ton of Snickers in his. <laughs> you got uh, Snickers in there? Two. What are you doing with those? Oh, watch, watch the. You got the play. You got the play. Yeah, yeah. Throw the ball. Boy, not even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to distract them, man. They look happy. You got your money on 24K. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> top, Desmond Roebuck at the top of the screen. He's looking for him again. Oh, my God. Talk to me nice. Again. 16 nothing. Oh, he's taking the Snickers out, I think. Again. Desmond Roebuck times two. Jesus. He can't be stopped. That kid is the only one we've seen on both drives. <laughs> and you know what the thing is? Knutson is just staring him down the whole time. He, <laughs> he is telegraphing he knows. It. He's just he knows. looking at him the whole time. Yeah, this is insane. And all ask Desmond a question real quick. What's up, D? Yeah. You're unstoppable right now. Yeah. What's going on on the field? I don't know. Can't guard me. Are they putting one guy? Oh, are they scoring two now? 
He's a good receiver, but you think you're the best receiver out here at OT7? Uh, I believe that I am. People might, may not think that, but I think I'm the best receiver here. I love the confidence. All right, Tucson Turf going off right now. Back to you guys. Desmond Roebuck has been unstoppable, but, but keep your eye on number eight for 24K. If you've been watching these games so far, which I know you have because you're watching this one, Cam Coleman, D, has he He's been, been the been most impressive crazy, bro. to you so far here? He's been going crazy. You throw ball up any, any way in his vicinity, catch him. He's looking for him again. Oh, no. Dumps it off. Good, Good read. Down at the one, that's Dale and Ponder. Back to Cam Coleman for one sec. Four star out of Alabama. Got offers from Alabama, mm. UF, Colorado. Mm. He's mm. a junior. 6'3, 175. D, who's his pro comp? I don't even know, man. He's talented. I don't even know. You talking about Cam on the outside? Yep. That's Julio Jones. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for it. I thought yeah. D was going to say it. Now, who, now you already He's know at the Julio bottom Jones of your screen is. right now. Julio. Throws it up. Oh, my Give bro. God. Give me bro. that. Oh, my God. Bro. bro. Cam Coleman. Oh, my God. Uh, let's see what the flag. It can be no taunting. See what the flag. Uh, unsportsmanlike? For what? They call unsportsmanlike. Keep the touchdown. What's Cam the, Coleman what? says, give me what that. What did he do? What they call that for, fam? What did he do? I'll go find out. Tom, please find out yeah. for us. What did he I think do? he might have been talking while he did it. You know that should to be talk fine. in this game? That should be fine. You can't talk in this game? Can I ask you a question, sir? Yes. You called unsportsmanlike on that Moss. Yes. What happened? After the play, my man slapped him in the head, pulled off his helmet. That's unsportsmanlike. Oh. I don't know what he was thinking he was going to do. I didn't see it. I didn't know that oh, happened. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what he did. So he can't do that? No, he can't do that. But did you like it, kind of? Yeah. Did I like what? Did you like seeing it, though, still? The, the pull-off? Nah, I'm a referee. I can't see nothing like that, man. <laughs> Back to you guys. I didn't see him do all that. That's crazy. I'm not going to lie. I didn't either. I didn't either. Yeah. I thought he just stood there, but apparently he got disrespectful. Okay. Six, 24 on the board. 16-7 as we approach the halfway point. We have a 22-minute running clock, except for the final minute where the clock stops on, you know, out of bounds and complete passes. Right now, they're enforcing the yardage from the, I guess, taunting. <laughs> Ugh. That's crazy. Ugh. That's crazy. I just I make a catch so like that, fam. I'm going to get a taunt to go to. I ain't going to lie to you. Any yeah, but if someone does that to you, are you standing up and swinging? No, I'm not swinging. No. But... Anytime I see a taunting call OT7, I just do the push a T noise because it pisses me off. <laughs> I hate the taunting call. <laughs> you should do all the taunting you want. That's what I'm saying. As long as it's not like nothing crazy, but like yeah. Oh, throw it to him. Going up top. Oh Ooh. my Ooh. god. Oh Intended my for god. who else? Desmond Roebuck. Oh my god, that was almost ugly. He's only five ten D. That was almost ugly. That would have been the catch of the decade, fam. Here's another look at that play. Look at how he almost snagged it. Only five ten, one sixty. He got up there. Dang. I ain't gonna lie, I wish we would've came down with that one. I would've retired from the play calling, the poof calling. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed you to can't do that, that now. <laughs> <laughs> you're staying. That's completed. Oh, new receiver. Nico Bancor, he's been, he's been active this whole tournament, but he's, you know, the second, third option. Yeah. Okay. Also okay. in at QB right now is Jason Wood. They like to mix him in. Switch him up one time. We've seen him dump it off more than Knutson, but so far it comes out comes out throwing a little bit more. He doing his thing, man. Both quarterbacks really doing their thing. I feel like they both two different play styles, so you know. Big third down here. Let's see what he does. Jason Wood a 6'1, 180, class of 2024 20, quarterback. And here comes the blitz. Roebuck throws it. Got him. First down. First down inside the 10. Roebuck doing it all right now. Now, Dave, does that count as one of their run plays since they handed it off or since he tossed it? It's fine. It, it, I believe it's a run play. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh, run play. So that's one of the two run plays used by Tucson Turf. What, they have a new set of downs here. Does that count as one of the run plays? Yes, sir. Oh, it's a blitz. Oh. Got it. Oh, yeah, you know what? He caught the snap. I didn't even think about that. So it wasn't a run play. No, it's not a run play. They still got their stuff. But it was a blitz. Well, it drops back. Completed. At the two. Let's see if he's in. 
He's in. And now, Nico Bancor. Man, this is looking ugly for 24. 20. I told y'all Tucson Turf was going to win, yeah. man. Yeah, sure. I told y'all, yeah, man. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's still eight minutes left, but, you Th know. This would be a good time for a money drive, know, don't you think? Yeah, this would be a great time. They need it. They need the lifeline right now. I told y'all boys Tucson was, you feel me? Going to do their thing. The all insisted 24K. Is it, Coach, is this money drive? No, not yet. Not yet. A lot of, saving that one? Yep. A lot. <laughs> saving it. A lot of time. Eight and a half minutes remaining. Colin Hurley drops back. Four star looking deep. Big arm. Looking deep. Too, too big of an arm. Intended for Trey Brown. Four star with offers to Tennessee, Florida, FSU. Sophomore. He was open too deep. He's too strong, man. You gotta lay off the weights a little bit. We have seen that a couple times. Hurley has such a big arm that on these deep throws, it feels like he gets yeah. so jacked up, ready to, <laughs> ready to show off the cannon that he just unleashes it a little bit too far. We gotta have him in a strongest arm contest. He definitely going next. Hurley drops back, spins the ball twice. I said time right now. That was a quick four seconds. Yeah, very quick four seconds. All right, we got third down here, fellas. Let's see what play they got drawn up. Big third down. I, you know, you, we don't want to say this is the game when there's seven and a half minutes left, but if they, if they don't get this here... Cam fade, just a fade ball. Go ball. Y'all heard him. Did you guys hear that? We're just throwing the ball to Cam. Cam Coleman. Oh, reliable. He is at the top of your screen right now. He's covered by Cree Thomas. With a 20-yard cushion. A 20-yard cushion. Hey, that's a business decision right there. And here's the blitz. Oh, they said he's down. Oh, and that is a turnover. Make it 25 to oh, 7. Man. Hurley doesn't love the call, but Tucson Turf will take over with seven minutes left and a chance to put the nail in the coffin on the six seed 24K. Tucson hmm. Turf is looking good, man. They are looking really good, man. You know, we kind of doubted them a little bit because they haven't had the toughest road to get here. They beat Team Huncho, Florida Fire, Blaze, or what do we call them again, D? Just Blaze. Just Blaze. And then they beat Just Blaze and DEFCON Texas in the bracket. But they're showing why they're that good right they now. They're doing their thing, man. They're trying to get their back-to-back wins. They won the, the uh, battle tournament in Miami. Now them boys trying to dub up at OT Sim Phoenix. And you're going to be here in Austin for the second division, all right, D? Yes, sir. Coming up soon. Coming yes, up soon. Sir. Can I come? No. Uh, we'll think it. about that. Fair. We'll think about that. We got we got four divisionals. Wood drops back. Oh man. Damn. Oh man. That, oh, that is man. complete to Nico Bancor. That's part of the game, but he uh I hate to see both the guys down. He got hit there by Cameron Powell. I'm wondering if Powell tripped on the hit there and he's didn't good, mean he's good, because, he's good, he's good, he's good. Because, oh, because Powell is also down in the end zone. Take another look right here. It's a nasty collision. Mm. Ah, man. Concussion protocol. Yeah, whoa. Blue tent. Yeah, he seems totally fine, but the, uh, the trainer doesn't want him to be fine, seems like. They got to check them. They got to make sure. Of course, man. of course. We got to be safe. OT7. OT7 safety, top of the line. We don't need no CTE in these boys. <laughs> oh, man. So Tucson Turf will take... Let's see where they, they mark it now. Tucson Turf move, still moving the ball oh, pretty well. They're walking them boys up. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. 25-yard penalty look like. <laughs> they are now on the 12-yard line. It will be first down. The ten yard line's a first down, so this is this is the old first and two. Yes, sir. They have Jason Wood at quarterback right now. Keep your eye on who else Desmond Roebuck. He is at he is in motion right now. He's all, uh, excuse me, that was not him. He is down at the six. Why did they tag him way back there? He stretched the ball out. Hey, D, you made a good point. As cool as these Tucson Turf jerseys are, the numbers. The numbers are confusing, bro. Guys, let me know what... Oh, yeah, they are. Never look like seven. The look, ones he looked like, like he wore in 79 over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your favorite number? 
A seven was my baseball number back in the day. Okay, lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. Say baseball? Yeah, I was a baseball player, man. Cool. Okay. okay. Say it to my yeah. face, Tom. Say it to my cool. face. <laughs> Tom was an offensive coordinator. <laughs> Tom was an offensive coordinator. <laughs> D, I can see you playing baseball. Yeah, I can Roll play left. everything. Desmond Roebuck. Not once, not oh, twice. We're going, we going to the pit. To the pit, not the palace. But Trice. Desmond Man. Roebuck making a name for himself at OT7 Arizona. Mm. 24K looking sad right now. 32-7. It's, it's a little depressing over here right now. Man, I they, feel for them. They've been great all tournament. It almost feels like, you know, D, we were talking about this after, like, after big games. A little bit of a letdown. Yeah, yeah. They had an emotional win over Trillion Boys, and it's like they l let all, all the gas right there. This the money drive, though. It looked like money drive. We'll the see. Money drive, baby. You know, yeah, double it. <laughs> a touchdown here would make it 32-17. Hurley drops back, spins it once. Ooh. Got Jackson Branch, the three-star from Arizona. He's sitting on offers from both Arizona and Arizona State. What you picking, Arizona or Arizona State? Ooh. Mm. You know, you can't go wrong with either. It takes and, the time to think and, about that and, one. And, and they both seem like fun times, you know? So they say ASU is the number one fun time in America. Yeah, I, I wasn't even thinking about football when you asked me that question. <laughs> I, I wasn't even thinking about football. Wait, we're talking about football? They're both kind of not that great at football, right? I was yeah, going to say... Nah. Co really. Coach Herm would have been the tiebreaker, but Coach Herm isn't there anymore. They, oh they did him kind of dirty. They fired him on the field after the game, <laughs> in the bowl game. That was cold. It's crazy. Someone might do that to me at OTC. <laughs> <laughs> Offensive coordinator. <laughs> yeah, how'd you, how'd you decide to move forward from your offensive coordinator position? What happened? Uh, well, my dream was to be a coach. For real? Basketball coach, but I was getting experience just coaching, working with Then Then throw me away. So you quit or what? No. Yeah. Did you fire you? No. This little company called Overtime came along. Yeah, Overtime came around. They kept asking me to do more. Okay, okay. Colin Hurley over the middle. Okay. Incomplete to LaShawn Williams. Not quite on the same page there. You know, they offered me an unpaid internship, and I thought that was a good deal. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half minutes remaining here in the semifinal matchup of OT7 West Divisional. Winner with a chance to take on the winner of Low Pro and Pink Bandits. Third down here for 24K. Last chance over the middle. Ooh, good Touchdown. Grab. Good grab. Trey Brown, four stars. Money drive. Nice catch. They going for the two. They going for the swing. Oh, what? Nah, it's, it's, that, was a, that was a money drive. Flag, guys, flag. Quick 10 points on the money drive. 32-17, no one-point gamble opportunity on money the money drive. drive. So just, just a flat 10 points. 32-17 might be a little... It's might be a little late for that now, game. Now in this next little, game, we, we look pro and pick outlaws. Who do you think gives the, the best chance... Who has the best chance of beating Tucson? Pink Outlaws. Yeah. I'm going to go with Pink Outlaws. Isaac Wilson, brother of Zach Wilson. He's been good. He's been great. And they just erased a 21-point deficit against Midwest Boom to get here. So Yeah, I heard that was kind of a cheap win, actually. <laughs> hey, we'll let, we'll let the people talk about it. <laughs> We're just here to call the games. I'm not going to say that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I ain't never done them in Cowboy Boots before. Actually, I have. I'm lying. Still pretty agile. The dexterity is still there, you know. How many syllables was that one? We got, we got the refs bad on over here. <laughs> I just say use it. Both, all I'm gonna use it. Uh, turf, you, this is a... Audio not sounding great there. Uh, 22 seconds left. And 940. So they're all... We have some clock questions. I think it was that guy's voice, not the mic. <laughs> hey, real quick though, shout out Desmond Roebuck. I know we're gonna talk about him in the finals too, but three touchdowns here in the semifinals. He's been, he's been a beast in pool play, Boy, bracket going play. Crazy. They know teams know that they're throwing him and they can't stop it. Oh, that's a terrible goal. 
That's a terrible ball. Some kids almost got caught in the crossfire. Intended for Elias Gutierrez. That's 2025. Gutierrez. Tack on two points there. 24 hey, smell a comeback? No, you do not smell a comeback. It's a 13-point <laughs> game with 16 <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> Sorry to put you in your place, but, you know, <laughs> wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. Yeah. Some boys just playing prevent defense at this point. I think they're just trying to get closer to the foam pit. Just run out of 10 yards and get out of bounds. We heard him. Early drops back. Okay. Finds LaShawn Williams. Okay. We got 12 seconds left. Padding some stats. <laughs> hey, man, you got to fight until the end, bro. Can't give up, man. Well. How many, how many cliches you going to throw? Hey, I'm going to throw too many. <laughs> Time. Hey, you got to give it your all. You, you got to give it your all. You all game. No one to hold them. No one to fold them. No one to walk away and no one to run. Tucson Turf, 32, 19, and punching their ticket to the OT7 West Finals. Man, I feel like that was almost too easy for them. That was a quiet game, a rare quiet game here at OT7. But this Tucson Turf team is absolutely for real. Tom, what do you have going on down there? I'm down, I'm down here with the QB. You guys are advancing to the finals. How are we feeling? Uh, we're feeling amazing. We're firing on all cylinders. We're ready to go. Do you expect this coming into this? Um, I did. I don't think anyone else did. Now you're going to play Low Pro or the Pink Outlaws, either team. You got any thoughts on them? Uh, any team's not. They're, both teams are great, but they're not going to Ask him how you say his last name. How do we, how do we uh, pronounce your last name? Knutson. Can you spell that? K-N-U-T-S-O-N. The Snickers bars help you win? Uh, the Snickers bars did help me win. It gave me a great boost. I mean, I was throwing dots. The Snickers does. We appreciate you. Great game, man. On to the finals. Tucson Turf. Sir. Thank you, Jackson Knutson. Thank you, Overtime Knutson. Tom. Thank you, Destroying. Yes, sir. I'm your man, Overtime Day. Tucson Turf punches their ticket to the OT7 West Finals. They'll face the winner of Pink Outlaws and Low Pro. For all of us here, stick with us. We got a lot more coming. Championship up next. Peace. Sir, peace out. Overtime Tom here for a short huddle. In football, great teams play as a unit. A single player can impact the entire team because a team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Let's head back to the action. Welcome to the desert. We are here in Phoenix, Arizona for the championship of the OT7 Divisional in Phoenix, Arizona. It is Tucson Turf and low pro facing off Ooh. here in the desert. I could not be more excited for this one. Eight seed versus two seed. Mm. That's destroying. I'm overtime day. D, we got a big game here. Man, it's a huge game. The energy's been amazing all tournament long, but this is it. Somebody is walking away a champion. Let me tell you a little bit about both How'd teams. Here? How'd they get here? Listen, man, low pro, they were a Cinderella story, but they've been upsetting some teams, man. The mm -hmm. team is very young. They beat Pink Outlaws right before this 37-7, but Tucson Turf, on the other hand, they not the flashiest team. They've been slept on all tournament as well, but they've been balling. They won Battle Miami last. I don't even know when it was. They beat 24K, 32-19, and now they look to be champions once again. Both of these teams had electric quarterfinals. They rolled through the semifinals to get here to the finals. It is Championship Sunday, March Madness, and our very own Overtime Tom is standing by with us. Thomas, talk to me. How you doing? Thanks, fellas. Hey, I'm down here Coach Toby. Called himself the OC, the original coach. Mm. Oh, the original coach. The coach of the coaches. <laughs> I love it. Of Tucson Turf, you guys have been undefeated all weekend in the finals now. What do you guys got to do to bring home a championship? We need to play our best right now. Our best game has to be played right now. This is a great, great opponent, and obviously they, they've they earned it, and we know who these kids are, and they play hard the entire game, so we got to play from start to finish right now. Best game. I love it. I love it. Now, low pro. They're, they're, they're no slouch, right? That's right. That's what I'm saying. They're, no, they're a great team. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take our best. To win this game, absolutely. I love to see it. Hey, Tucson Turf looking to get a championship. The original, co the original coach, the OC. OC, Back to you guys. original coach, baby. Thank you, Tom. We have eight seed low pro, two seed Tucson Turf. You hear the horn? Destroying. It is time to play some it's championship football. 
And somebody is going to be crushed, and somebody's going to be very happy after this game. That's complete Tucson turf starting on offense. So they went 3-0 and in group play. They've gone 3-0 and here in the bracket, of course, to get to this point. They had a big semifinals matchup against 24K. You know, 24K had a, had a big win against Trillion Boys. A lot of people thought, including us, thought 24K was going to knock them off. But they followed it up with a big loss. Tucson Turf <laughs> spanked him, crushed him. And now here they are in the championship game. Dropping back, looking left. Oh, yeah. Complete Desmond Roebuck. So if you've been watching these games, which of course you have been, you know that name, you know that number. Number one, Desmond Roebuck. They feed this man the football every single drive. He's him. He's been doing his thing. He's been getting open. He's been catching the rock. He had, what, three touchdowns last game? Yep. He been balling, fam. That boy been balling. He had two touchdowns in multiple pool game plays. He had three touchdowns in the semifinals. And Tucson Turf has a two-quarterback two system, and both guys just feed Roebuck the ball. Ooh, good That's catch. complete. Great catch. Big tight end. Hey, man, I'm down here on the Tucson sideline. They are locked in. Like, it's, like, intense down here. Hey, you heard, Coach, this has got to be their best game now. Now's the time. This is, like, a business trip for them. Tucson Turf, baby. Jason Wood in at quarterback right now for Tucson Turf, class of 2024. Who would have thought these would have been our, our finalists? Would you guys have guessed these, these matchups for the finals? Well, Tucson Turf on paper, yeah. yes. But then they didn't Low, face the bro. toughest competition, so we were kind of sliding them. Looking left, completed. Did oh, not get touch tagged. him. Touchdown. You didn't get tagged. Desmond Roebuck. <laughs> Seven nothing. Oh, we hitting it. We hitting it. Pit. And to the pit we go. To the pit, not the palace. Oh man, Tucson turf on the board first. Making quick work of the low pro defense. If you scored OT seven, that's seven points. You have a chance for a one point gamble. You can either go up one or down one after your one point try from the ten yard line. They elect to not go for it. So low pro will take over on the forty yard line, looking to tie the score up. Hey, D, for those who do not know, how does the defensive scoring work? So on defense, if you get a three-and-out stop... That's and, completed over the middle. Oh, nice. If you get a three-and-out stop, then you get two points on defense. If you catch a pick, it's three. But there's an exception. There's a money drive. Do you want to tell them about the money drive, or you want me to? Let, let's wait till after this drive for the money drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to... Eat. Let's not get them too excited yet. Low Pro has two QBs. Right now, you're looking at Ty McCutcheon. He's a three-star from Hawaii, looking over the middle. Running. Take off. And he'll be he down the fastest, inside I'll tell you that. the 15. He looked like he was moving in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> and he slipped on the first step, too. Man. The field's been a little bit slippery here. Now each team gets two running plays, two blitzes. So that's one running play for low pro. McCutcheon's a three-star with offers to Arizona, Washington State. Ooh. Complete over the middle. Low pro is doing their thing right now, man. I feel like this game is going to come down to whoever has the ball last. Batman, Batman. Batman, Batman. They calling for Batman. That's a defensive play, so. Ooh. I think that means that you uh, you fight the Joker. Ooh. <laughs> Tucson Turf showing blitz here. They have not used either so far on this drive. They back off. Throwing right. Got his man. Tutty. Touchdown. Tie Batman, ball game. Not, not the best. Tutty. Hey, let's take Batman and throw yeah, it out. <laughs> Batman is X out the playbook. Harvey Dent and oh. Bane just smacked him right upside his head. You know, uh, Tom, I was about to say that. I do a great Bane impersonation. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Batman. Oh, wait, no. That's not Bane. Uh, dog. Oh, that is not dog. Bane, fam. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That one job, bro. <laughs> I was born in the darkness. Oh, that was pretty good. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Guy does one movie. <laughs> and we got first <laughs> and we got first down for Tucson turf so now this is in at quarterback we still oh uh, we still have Jason Wood they have not switched over to their other QB mm. but once again that is Desmond Robo oh reliable got three, 17 minutes left to play three catches already oh reliable that's what we're gonna call them hey D we've called a bunch of Tucson turf games and every single game 
It seems the, like there's the, only one receiver. Bro. The quarterback stares down Roebuck, and the teams can't stop him. If you were either the defensive coordinator or the guy covering, uh, you know, in, in the secondary, what, what would you do? I'd try to double him for sure. Put two people on him. But then that's going to leave somebody wide open, so I don't know the effectiveness. Look, look, speaking of the Complete. devil, look. He is yeah. running free. He don't seem like he get tired either. He's been on every play, every drive. 5'10", 160 with offers to Arizona and UNLV. Class of 2025. Young Buck. Young Buck. And right now, he is at the bottom of your screen in the slot. Trips Bunch at the bottom. Will take a snap. Throws left. Down inside the 10. That'll be a first down for Tucson Turf. Keeman Jackson on the catch. Not a lot of defense so far here, D. Not Both at all. Teams. Not at all. Let's see if these guys come out of here with some points, though. You know what would be a fun activity for Austin? Tell me. We got to make a bracket. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. We got to make a bracket. And yeah, see that was how very that goes. Thank you, man. You know it's March, so you know I think you yeah. know, we could do a little bracket or something. Yeah. D is going to have that thing branded by next week. <laughs> Roll left, throw over the middle. Roebuck has it, who? and he's down inside the five. Fumble. <laughs> this will be second and goal. So you only get three downs here at OT7. And it is a running clock up until the last minute. Second and goal from the two. What they going to do? <laughs> I'll tell you. Two words. What you think? Robust? Des Desmond? <laughs> Robuck. Why do I call him Robust? <laughs> so we got four receivers <laughs> to the right. A weird, okay. They had a weird formation going. Takes a snap. Rolls right. Throws over the middle. Oh. Touchdown. Wow. Tucson Turf goes up 14-7. And defense is optional here in the championship. <laughs> Neither team playing the best defense right now. But you know. Two great offenses. Exactly. I ain't gonna lie. That's more exciting to watch than great defenses, so. I'm, I'm for it. Great defense in real football with pads and stuff. I can sign up for that. And seven on seven, let the so boys So you want to watch a game that's three to six? Or yeah. you want to watch a game that's 45-47? Hmm. Okay, I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> Mikey Eugenio in a quarterback for low Ooh, pro. Oh, I thought that was a pick. Throwing a dot. Got his man for a first down inside the 25. It looks nice like throw a pick from, from our ankle. From our ankle. That's Onosai Salanoa from Hawaii, class of 2025. Nice. These Hawaiian names, man, nice. making me earn my paycheck. Fellas, we got some Tucson Turf fans down here. What was that? You want money? Who was that? Don't want to speak. I'm not to They look young, not Eugenio, and that'll be four seconds. All right, now I got a Tucson Turf fan. Yeah, bro. Tucson Turf going to win it all. Just, I just had to. No cap. You might get that out the way. I was good. Turf is winning it all. TTE for life. That boy said no cap. That, that, was, that was a hard-hitting no hard interview right there. <laughs> Micah Eugenio still under center for low pro. Looking left, looking right, looking over the middle. Got his oh. man. Oh. Down inside the 15. Little contact for good measure. That's Noah Macapule with the catch. 13 minutes left to play. It's been an interesting final so far, man. Hope it comes down to the wire. Three possessions, three touchdowns. Low Pro looking to tie it up. This is the championship game. Eight seed Low Pro, two seed Tucson Turf. I like saying that. Yeah, two seed Tucson Turf. Two seed Tucson Turf. Now, what if, for some odd reason, mm -hmm. during our OT7 Phoenix championship game, we got a we blitz. We go to overtime. And a completion. What a throw. Oh. What a catch. Come on, come on now. Great play by Mikey Eugenio yes, there. Think there's any chance for overtime during this? I mean, yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would love nothing more. Yeah. Overtime with overtime. Very on brand. Very, Very on brand. brand. That would be part of the script. Yes, yeah, <laughs> script writers doing overtime. <laughs> Eugenio snaps it. Looks left. Oh. Back to Macapule, who's been his favorite target on this drive. Yo, Day, you're so good with these names, man. 
bro. I He's appreciate you, bro. It, man. Homework pays off, my guy. I wouldn't know anything about that, but. <laughs> Yeah, Earth Science sophomore year. I remember you. I remember you. Oh, it was an ugly scene. Did you guys go to school together? Oh, we did. We went to high school together. Eugenio oh, finds his man touchdown. Oh, man. Tie ball game. Pats the defender on the back. Not much of a celebration other than that. Tie ball game. And Tucson game. Turf will go back to work. 14 up. I'm going to check in with Tucson Turf's OC right now. The, the actual OC, the offensive coordinator. See what they're running. Get inside the huddle with overtime, Tom. Inside the huddle. Jackson, take the top off. You have a post. Hayden, 10 yard here. Nico over. Des, motion, wheel. Uh, Nico, under. Take what they give you. Take what they give you. Taking what they give him. Here we go. Take what they give you. Take what they give you. You got Desmond Roebuck in motion right now. Looking over the middle. Ooh. That's hey! it. Low pro with hey. a huge play. They will oh get the ball my back. Goodness. Attack on three to their score. Low pro. Massive play by the low pro defense. Man, these eighth graders out here performing in the tournament of chrome men. That's Kaida Kamohali. I think I got that right. And I'm going to ask him. I'm going to ask him. And hey, that is a good beautiful play, play. Man. We need to know how to pronounce your name. How do we say your name? Uh, Kaino. Kaino. Come on, Lee. I'm going to leave it at Kaino. That was a great interception, though. You know, you're one of the smaller players on the field, but I know you're kind of always really aggressive. What happened on that play there? Uh, I seen the uh, the three, the two, and the one, they all went streets. So I stayed outside, but then he threw it backside, so I came down to the ball. I loved it. And then he threw the ball about a mile in the air. What happened there? <laughs> a little celebration. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Good job. What's up, man? At 15 years old and 5'3", 150, that young man made the play of the game so far. Boy, it's not like he got some good football knowledge, too. Breaking down breaking down the offense in real How'd time. How'd that sound, offensive coordinator? OC, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need your own 7-on-7 seven seven team, bro. Nah, I love you guys, though. You guys are doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Low pro with a new set of downs. That's Ty McCutcheon in a quarterback as they'll try to add to their lead. And we have another touchdown. Oh, Noah Macapule tagging on seven more. And Low pro has stretched it out to a 10 point lead. Low pro might still run away with it right here. They were a Cinderella last year. And they're looking like they might do the whole thing this year. Mm -hmm. They got to go for the money soon. D, talk to me about what the money drive is because it is right here. They just signaled it. You saw the Johnny Manziel money hands. D, what's the money drive? So once they throw up the Johnny Manziel money hands, if the team goes down and scores, then they get 10 points instead of seven. But on defense, if they throw a pick, it's six points instead of three, and turnover on downs results in four points instead of two. Thank you, D. Tucson Turf back to work on their money drive here. Ooh. It's a nice little first down play completed to Nico Bancor. He's been a, a reliable receiver for this Tucson Turf offense all weekend. More like the second or yeah. third option. Yeah, uh, I ain't seen much from this game. We haven't seen much from him so far. He was first team all region out in Glendale, Arizona. He plays both sides of the ball. Hey, fellas. What's going on, man? Tommy. I'm just looking at the trophy. Has anyone seen the trophy yet? The, the trophy no, is gorgeous. Can I see it? We haven't seen the trophy. That's complete to the left side. I'm over here trying to call a football game. And Tom just wants to touch the trophy. <laughs> I want to touch the trophy. OT7 West Phoenix trophy. I don't know if they got my camera on right now, but it's pretty. It's a pretty one. A little bit higher. Look at that. This is what the teams are going for. This is what Low Pro is about to win. Good luck to Mike Eugenio and the whole entire <laughs> Low Pro squad. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbiased reporting from Overtime Tom. <laughs> Tucson close to the red zone here. Drops back, throws left. Oh, guess to who? Desmond Roebuck with the catch. Helmet falls off for good measure. He Desmond. doesn't care. You're going to be saying that name in your sleep. <laughs> Bro, I've said his name a hundred times this weekend <laughs> because no one wants to play defense on this man. Did you say he has no offers? No, uh, no, no he has offers, but says no stars right now. I'm, what? I'm, I'm, on my sheet. Yep. Arizona. UNLV, they both offered him. He's class of 2025, so nah, he's, exactly. he has plenty of time. Mm -hmm. Takes a snap, rolls right, throws back over the middle, complete. Nico Bancor. 
I'm going to add a rule. Every time you get 1,000 catches in an OT7 event, you get a star. 1,000 catches? Yep. That's yeah, I don't think anyone would no. be able to possibly do that. It's like, it's <laughs> being sarcastic. Even all four years. <laughs> you got to compete since you're like six years old. <laughs> four year fit at OT7. I mean, Mike and Eugenio, this is his second year at OT7, and he still doesn't have his license. Roll, rolling left, complete Ooh, to Bancor. And Nico Bancor has been eating on the money drive here. D, do you have your license? Of course. Like driver's license? Yep. Why would I not? A lot of people in New York don't have it. Y'all New Yorkers are weird. I, no, have I have it. I have it. I have it. Do you guys drive? Oh, yeah. Rarely. I don't have a car. Yeah. Why'd you get your license then? <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's a norm everywhere else but no. New York to have a car and a license. Big possession Ooh, here. Here's blitz. the blitz. Ooh, Down. Got him. Big blitz <laughs> they from <stupid>. low pro. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> the man just goes stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and Tucson Turf looking to put up 10 points here on their money drive. This is a big possession here. They need here. this. They need this. Just over five minutes left. So that quarterback is about 10 feet back. Is he coming again? Yeah, Jason Wood out of the deep shotgun. That's Desmond Roebuck, takes a direct snap, throws oh. it, throws it up. Ooh, Is it no a catch? catch? No catch. No catch. I ain't gonna lie, it looked like he was tagged too, but. I, I thought he was definitely tagged, fellas. I thought he was also tagged, but regardless, a huge, huge swing in this game. Tack on four points for low pro. They will take the ball again. Let's take another look here. Let's see what Tom's got going on. So we'll get it. What's what we got? We'll get it. Stop the clock. Everyone's yelling. He, he was in, he's coming in motion from here. Come. Okay, Biles hike to him right here in the box. Uh, all that does is make him the court. It does. It doesn't matter. Tackle box. That's your rule. I'll pull it up. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. He's not wrong. He's not I'm not wrong. wrong. I, know, I know. I understand, but he but can't. Guys, I'm bored as hell. All right, back to you guys. Like, that's <laughs> stupid. What's the argument down there? Uh, they're basically they trying to argue with the fact that um, they're trying to decide if a play was legal. Basically, they handed the ball off in the tackle box, but it ended up being he was the quarterback. It was a whole. It was a whole mess. Well, he came in motion. I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. I think that was a terrible play call because they can't stop Roebuck. They cannot stop this guy. So instead of having him go out for the pass, they had him throw, they had him throw it. Yeah, terrible Man. play call. I just find it interesting that the low pro coach is the one instigating this. We're like, the, they have the ball back. Like, come on, man. <laughs> so low pro gets the ball back up 14. Tucson Turf has used their money drive. Let's see what Mikey Eugenio and the low pro offense could do and, and potentially bleed some clock. I think low pro need to go money, man. Oh, Ooh. I don't think so. They should. I, let's take another look. Roebuck on the direct snap in motion. Yeah, I, I just don't get that. And if you want to do that, maybe do that on second down. Ooh. That's completed over the middle. I just, we've been calling these games all weekend, and they haven't been able to stop him, and, and they didn't make him stop him on third down there. Low pro takes over. Guys, Tucson Turf is yelling Batman again. Oh, oh man. Touchdown. <laughs> hey, Tom, I heard you do a good Batman impression. Is that true? Batman. No, we're in Batman. Batman. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Not a line? I think that's... Is that yeah. is that Joker? No. I don't know. I think... Did she say where is she or where is it? Uh, I know. Something about a trigger. Yeah. I don't know. I On the Joker scene she? when he has the pencil. Where is she? Batman's gotten more publicity in this OT7 thing. They might as well sponsor this event. <laughs> uh, hey, in, in Austin, I'm, I'm doing the broadcast with a Batman mask. Or maybe Tom have should be. Yo, we actually have a Batman costume here, but we ordered a youth size. Honestly, a few of the low pro players probably. Low pro, <laughs> low pro yeah. coach is arguing or something. Something's going on over there. I can't tell if he's arguing or giving hand motions because oh. they run the no huddle offense. Yeah. Yeah. I got oh, here news. comes the blitz. Throws it over Touchdown. the middle. He's Ooh. got daylight. Ooh. Is he in or is he down? 
They're saying he's, he's down, down at the he's 15. Down. Fellas, oh, I, I just know. felt my first raindrop, so we got four minutes to get this thing done. Oh, man. Four minutes, 15 seconds remaining, and Low Pro is looking to tack on to their two-score lead. Mm. Is it safe to say Low Pro might be our champions? You know what? <laughs> After how they did last year, I would be fine with that. Yeah. I would be fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> with that. Last year, they were the one team that no one had heard about OT7. They beat Miami Immortals, beat a couple of other highly ranked seven on seven teams, really put them on the map. And here they are in OT7 season two in the first divisional, in the West Division. They're about to take the championship. Big doves, big champions. As the eighth seed, March Madness. Man, Cinderella story. I'm telling you, we do brackets next week, man. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Are we allowed to? Yeah. See why not. Well, who says no? Eugenio's looking left, looking right. Ooh. A little out of the reach. These clouds seem like they're creeping in, man. It, it's gotten a little bit cold here in Arizona. It's a beautiful field, beautiful facility here in Mesa, just outside Phoenix. Got the mountains over the LED scoreboard. It's been pretty windy all day, but vibes have been high. Those mountains look like a green screen or, or something like that, like Apple wallpaper or something. Tom has been getting up every morning going hiking like an overachiever. <laughs> I've been sleeping and prepping. He's been hiking. I love the views. How do you have time? Where do you go hiking? I love the views, man. You gotta right be across, here dumb early. Right across from our hotel is a beautiful mountain. Oh, wow. Right on Arizona State's campus. You go hike that mountain? Yeah. How long does it take you? About an hour. Hey, well, so you get up early life. then. Oh, man, it's raining. 28, 14, and Tom does not like the rain. I hate the rain. <laughs> Two minutes left. Michael rolls right. Looks back over the middle. Back right. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, one hit. Oh, my God. Is all it takes. <laughs> Oh my Ooh. god. The exclamation point from oh Noah Macapoo. Oh my god. And Low Pro will take the crown. Yeah, they deserve it. They deserve it. Man. Put a stamp on it. Damn. 35 14. Low Pro. Bro, that's what stuck a to catch. his. Oh my god. And help but notice, ever since I talked to those Tucson Turf fans, <laughs> well, we fell apart. Bro, that just stuck to his glove. Noah Macapule, he's had a great game. He's the starting point guard for the Punaho football team and, uh, 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 sorry, for the basketball team. <laughs> hey, I'm just reading the school name, man. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Going deep. Starts a point guard for basketball. Starts on football. At that school again. Let's take another look here, D. Mm. I was waiting. Mm. Snack. <laughs> a minute 12 left to play, man. I think that touchdown was an exclamation point. That was also a rocket from Eugenio. That was, that was not an easy play to one hit. Looking left. Back to Bancor. At this point, Tucson is just trying to not go out sad. <laughs> Too late. 35-14. <laughs> We had some crazy finishes in pool play. Wow. Oh, oh. Flag. It don't matter. That boy is dancing. <laughs> we, have, we, we, we have the nice thrown catch by, uh, by Tucson Turf. A little unnecessary roughness call and a little dance for good measure. That boy said, look at the scoreboard. It don't matter. Take your flag, it don't matter. First and goal over 30 seconds left, but it is just stat padding at this point. <laughs> I will say I love Low Pro. I'm, I'm curious what their celebration will be like, because they're not a big, like, rowdy team. Throws it up, a little too long. Nothing. What could they be looking at right now? It's a great time. Looking at the here. playbook. They're drawing some up. 
But for what? You think this cop behind me will let me borrow his handcuffs? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> Ask if you could touch his weapon. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> 19 right, let's wrap seconds this game left. <laughs> Here's the snap. Rolls left. Throws it over the middle. Oh, it's complete. Drop. Them boys don't want it, man. Clock's still rolling. 13 seconds until these boys at Low Pro's crown champions. Clock is running. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Throws it up. Oh. This game. Incomplete. Ball and that game. will do it this for game. Phoenix, Arizona. Low Pro to the your OT7 West Divisional I champions. To the pit. 35-14 over the two-seed, two-side turf. It is March Madness here in Arizona. The eight-seed low pro said Cinderella season one wasn't enough. We want seconds. Mm. Man, what an amazing performance by the boys. They turn. Look at them. We had over to the bracket, fellas. Oh, they going to the bracket. They crown themselves champions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The team from mostly Hawaii and Nevada yeah. as the eight seed go on an incredible run and yes, they are partying as they should. We here, bro, we here. Hawaii, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys! Overtime, Dalu! Overtime, Dalu! Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Catering, fam. <laughs> Low pro champions. We got to try to find back. Come on, come on. 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 With no four stars, no five stars, quarterbacks Ty McCutcheon and Micah Eugenio lead Low Pro to the championship in the first divisional of the OT7 season. Man, what a legendary tournament. Hey, it's a hell of a job. Hey. 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 Hey, listen up. Hey. Show him some love right here. Y'all see, man, go straight. BLT Dub. We so in there. Hey, go stream that. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, there you go, fellas. They're going to go shake it up. This is amazing. They're Appreciate so you guys. They're breaking the mic. 35 <laughs> 14. They got it done today. I, hey, honestly, T, the turning point for me was that interception. Yeah. The pick and then the one hand grab just. I don't know. That was my favorite play today, man. That was an unbelievable, was unbelievable catch. Gloves. That boy wearing stick em. But up until then, both teams were trading blows. Mm -hmm. Neither defense could get a stop. And then the interception and Low early. Pro just ran off with it. Low Pro said, that's enough for us. That's enough. <laughs> the youngins won, man. That's crazy. No four stars, no five stars. <laughs> Looking at the roster, <laughs> maybe no one over six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> And they made nice work of the OT7 bracket. Yeah. Oh, man. Big dubs. They're coming to collect the trophy, too. Big dubs. These boys look so young. I feel like you guys deserve a trophy. Hey, thanks, Thomas. <laughs> Hey, we're going to have a little uh, trophy celebration here. Hey, Commissioner Tom, Hunter. Hey, 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 Tom, get in there. Tom, get in there. I can't get too close. I want to let Commissioner Hunter give his little speech. Let everyone get hype. And we're going to throw it down to the commissioner of OT7, Hunter Mandel. What's up, guys? I'm Hunter. I'm the commissioner of OT7. What do you know about Low Pro? So a little, little about Low Pro. This time last year, we had no idea who they were. We, we had an OT7 championship, our first one last June. We had a team drop last minute, and Low Pro jumped in, 
And to be honest, we really didn't expect much. We were like, they're gonna fill in and we're gonna see what they can do. And they showed out. And now, Low Pros are champions of the first divisional. Yeah. Lily, do the honors. <laughs> Congrats, boys. Where's John? Head coach, John. You see the trophy, you see the champions. Low pro, a team with no four stars, no five stars, will take home the trophy. OT7, season two, first divisional. Oh, it's been a great one, man. Great weekend, great bracket. I think that's going to do it for us. For Overtime Tom for Destroying, I'm your man Overtime Day. We'll be back for divisional number two. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment on all of our YouTube content. Here on Overtime Season, OT7 just getting underway. Audi, peace. Overtime Tom here for a short huddle. In football, great teams play as a unit. A single player can impact the entire team because a team is only as strong as its weakest link. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can irreversibly damage your lungs and the team. Stay tuned for more OT7.